So what we, what we introduced here in the Balanced View Training is, um, is complete empowerment and benefit in, in everyday life. And uh, it's, it's possible to um, education in the nature of mind, educating ourselves in the nature of our mind. And um, <clears throat> being here in the Balanced Field Training, you get to know the entire support system for that. It is available not only here in Goa, but all over the world. And um, so the introduction to open intelligence and what is open intelligence, it's, um, it's the basis of everything we perceive. It's, it's the basis of all of our data streams. And data is our thoughts, experiences, sensations, emotions, everything. So we call it here data, just to keep it simple. And um, if you stop thinking for a moment, uh, you introduce yourself to this powerful open intelligence. So we can all do it right now. We stop thinking for a moment. And what remains when we stop thinking? It's powerful open intelligence. It's a power to know. It's, um, it's a complete openness to perceive. It's uh, complete clarity and stability. And then that power to know is also inseparable when thoughts and emotions are coming up. Like right now, okay, we cannot stop thinking and then everything comes up again and we feel the wind and we're sensing ourselves and we're sitting on a chair and we probably test in a moment. And that's also open intelligence that's inseparable from that power to know. So uh, that's a relief to know that because um, all of our life we train ourselves to believe that everything that we perceive, our thoughts, emotions, sensations, they have power over us. It's, it's only what we think, it's only what we feel and there is nothing else. Like if we get angry, if we get anxious, if we get uh, jealous, then it's only what we see. We, we cannot really see something else. And we're acting on these emotions, sensations and thoughts and experiences and in my own experience, what I've seen through the introduction to open intelligence is no matter what the activities of our mind are, whether they're negative or positive, they're equal. They're equal in, in essence. And we can just allow them to be as they are by the practice of short moments of open intelligence. And <clears throat> now this practice of short moments of open intelligence, it's a, a short moment of... Um, completely re relaxing body and mind, resting naturally as we are, allowing everything to be as it is, allowing everything to, to flow on by. Uh, right now, we, we can take a short moment of, of open intelligence. So it's, it's easy for us to understand what is a short moment if we just take it. It's, it's short, first of all, and it's, it's, we don't need to control the, the, the thoughts and emotions. So it's even a relief that we don't need to do anything about our thoughts and emotions. We take a short moment of not describing whatever comes up or not indulging in a, anything that's coming up now. Um, not replacing our thoughts to positive thoughts uh, like we used to do. I know I used to do it a lot. And uh, not avoiding anything. Unrejected. Everything just remains as it is. And these short moments we gain confidence that open intelligence is always present. It's always present. It's always within us. We're always stable. We're always powerful. And, and we can always be of benefit to ourselves and others, regardless of what comes up. So these short moments, even if they're short, they become longer. They, um, in a very um, natural way, you see that you really like to take these short moments because they give immediate relief and immediate benefit, because you don't need to do anything with yourself, you don't need to fix yourself, you don't need to plan what you want to be today and make it happen. You just be as you are, just as you are. And you're welcome to be as you are also here. When you come here, you understand what it means to be exactly as you are. And that's the power of open intelligence and what I see in my own experience is that more and more, <clears throat> excuse me, more and more the, the ability to allow myself to be as I am and to love everything about myself, even if I really don't like it. So speaking about self-love and just this beautiful share about self-love and 
that's what we all want. We want, we want to love ourselves as we are. When that the tension it comes up when we think that something about us is wrong and that we need to change it. And our afflictive state, it's not something that we like to feel, so we really want to change it because it doesn't make us happy or we are not happy maybe. We feel sad or maybe we are depressed or anxious, but in allowing everything to be as it is, we experience um, a complete ease and relaxation. And actually that we can allow all these negative data streams to, to flow on by and there is nothing we need to do. And in that, there is a, a complete empowerment to, to know what to do in a situation and to, and to share our gifts and talents, to really see ourselves as, as powerful human beings and to, to make things possible rather than think that it's not possible for us or think that we victims of our thoughts and emotions and constantly putting ourselves down and blaming other people and ourselves. We see how everything in the world are coming about. I mean, just yesterday in the news, it's just so horrible to, to be exposed to everything that is happening every day. But seeing that dynamic in ourselves, like the war in ourselves of trying to fight these negative emotions and negative thoughts and thinking that we need to change it, to change it, to get rid of that. And that's exactly what we see outside in the world. People just trying to destroy each other in order to feel good, in order to release the anxiety they feel and the hate they don't want to feel. So within ourselves, it's so important that we allow all these emotions and experiences to be exactly as they are without doing anything, without doing anything. <clears throat> just resting at the basis of everything. Resting over and over again, resting the mind, resting the body. Even if we're busy, we can rest naturally. You see, it's just so natural for us to be at rest. Everything is at rest about us. Our thoughts are at rest, our negative thoughts are at rest, <clears throat> our positive thoughts are at rest, our body is at rest. Um, jealousy is at rest. It comes and it goes naturally. The, the need to change it, the need to, to not feel that, that's where we feel tense and that's where we feel afflicted. But when we, when we um, see that as open intelligence, by the power of short moments of open intelligence, we instinctively recognize that there is nothing we need to change about ourselves. And a deep compassion comes about because we truly understand what people are going through in themselves and the harm, the suffering, the the need to destroy everyone else is just naturally resolving. So that's how powerful the, the training is that we all come together as powerful human beings and we can benefit each other. We can do things that um, can benefit ourselves and others. So having in my life the opportunity to serve and to be part of this training and to do things and if, it, if it's cooking or serving in the kitchen and being a teacher or all the tasks of the day that I need to do instead of focusing on myself all the time, like what I used to do, focusing on myself, changing myself, my thoughts and emotions, like having a, a plan of how I can be a better person, it opened up into what will be of most benefit to all and what can I do today that will support the benefit of everyone. <clears throat> and going about every day with, the, with such support and empowerment where, where I have a short moments of allowing everything about myself to be as it is, so not believing in the independent nature of the data stones, and then having the trainings and having the, the talks that I can listen to and remember that I can allow everything to be as it is and having the community, <clears throat> the examples of others, <clears throat> such powerful human beings that just looking at everyone, seeing that I can allow myself to be myself too, and that there is nothing I need to change. And I mean, this life is just a complete relief, a complete relief of the need to, to change anything and enjoy life fully, enjoy life fully, whatever comes up to us. <clears throat> And
And then we can do it also everywhere we go. Like it's the end of the week. I feel a bit sad of leaving. And, and with that, there is such gratitude for the support we have all of the time. Like, you know, we go back home and we have uh, our trainer with us. And if we don't have yet a trainer, we can just join in clarity calls and do teachings together and being online and then listen to their friends and the community and take a book with us or take a short moment. You see, it's a lifestyle. It's so simple. It's like nothing complicated here that you hear. It's so profound, yet it's just everything. It has everything. And you can, you, can, you can go about your life in such a powerful way. Like you can really benefit yourself and others by relying on the support of the Four Mainstays. And it's simply what I say in my life. I mean, <clears throat> I have nothing really to, to add. It's just like that. It's a complete ease and empowerment and the ability to connect with people and to be so intimate and, and loving regardless of what I think about people or what they think about me. So this trying to micromanage my thoughts and emotions or other people's thoughts and emotions, that's completely gone. The need to emphasize my data streams because other people emphasizing their data streams, it's also gone. Total, there is no need of that anymore because there is powerful open intelligence that confirms to us that we can just be, we can speak up <laughs> for reality and we can be of benefit and we can support each other. We don't need to gossip anymore. We don't need to criticize anymore. And of course, at times it happens where we fall short <laughs> and we do gossip and we do criticize. And, and then again, we can relax and take a short moment and remember that we really want to be of benefit to everyone. So all these qualities of, of open intelligence, of loving open intelligence, they, they come about naturally. We gain confidence. It's not that suddenly we are a completely different person. We gradually get to know ourselves as we are and loving everything about us. You know, loving everything means it's not that we enjoy everything, you know, that everything that comes up is like, wow, it's amazing. I just love myself. It's just so amazing. You're amazing all the time. Of course, there are many, many situations where we feel uncomfortable with ourselves and we want to be someone else or we want to depart, so to speak, or we just we don't want to feel what we feel. And, and that is really important to stay put in seeing everything as open intelligence and getting to know, getting to know all these feelings and emotions for everyone else too, not only for ourselves, like what exactly people are facing what exactly people are doing because they have all these emotions and experiences that are unbearable to feel or think of. <clears throat> That's why the support is so crucial because we see that, wow, we can allow that to be as it is. There is nothing we need to change. And with that, we are able to make changes for everyone in the world for the benefit of all. So that's the power that we have. It holds everyone to account. It doesn't exclude people, places, and things. It allows everyone to be acknowledged as, uh, as exalted, as powerful human beings, and that's truly amazing. Mm -hmm.